<clears throat> okay boys, so the, the flyback is very sick. Um, I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna give it a send off. So uh, just increase that spark gap there a bit. Get a bit of load on it. Mm. Hmm. Something's not happy here. There we go, the park struck. I wonder what's going to pop first, my circuit or the... Marking out something there. I wonder what's going to pop first, my transistors, the circuit. Pass it up or fly back. The longest I've ever run this for. Here we go. Yeah, those transistors are getting hot now. Come on, boys, you can do it. And I'm going to have a transistor meltdown before I have a transformer meltdown here. I'm going to keep it running until it pops though. Something's going to give. Something will give. It's a lot more than uh, one amp. That, there's something wrong with this, this shunt and meter setup. I have never ever run it this long before. <clears throat> used to always get so hot so quickly. But uh, with the three tones instead of uh, four on the feedback, it's uh, much happier. Oh, well, I don't think anything's going to pop here, unfortunately. I've never run this circuit for this long without doing some serious... Da oh, I spoke too soon. That's starting to smoke out now. <laughs> oh, that arc changed... Uh, how would you say? It's not as intense. Is the flyback about to let go altogether? That is the question. All transistors are red hot. Yeah.
Oh, I drew 1.3 amps on the 240 volt side that time. <laughs> I love this new toy. It's a lovely little meter. It actually looks a shitload better in real life than it does on camera too. Mm. Came back to full strength. Oh, I don't think it's going to pop, gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I built the circuit too damn freaking good now. Now it's cooking the fly back and the circuit doesn't die. Typical. Thanks for watching. <laughs>